Hello, Stinson stars, Stinson staff, and Stinson parents. I'm Coach Lowry, and I'm bringing you the kind of chilly Stinson news. Today is October 20th, and the high is looking about 80 with scattered thunderstorms. I definitely think it's going to be lower temperature, though, the way it's feeling. Today's lunch menu is chicken nuggets, grilled cheese with some baked beans and fruit. Have a great lunch today, guys, and have a great day. Say bye! Bye! bye. bye. <laughs> Although everybody's brain looks the same, they all work differently from each other. Just as we all have different color skin, hair, and eyes, we all have a brain that's individual to us, like a fingerprint. We have different personalities, tastes, strengths, and weaknesses. Our brains can even see and understand the world in different ways. One of those ways is called dyslexia, which affects how the brain handles information it sees and hears. Dyslexic people may find it difficult to match letters to sounds, and to remember how to spell words. They may even see letters moving around when they're reading. They might have trouble telling left from right. Remembering lots of instructions can be especially hard. They may need more thinking time to remember the right word. As well as memorizing sequences. It may be difficult for them to hold a pencil and to write by hand. Even organizing themselves can be difficult. But everyone with dyslexia is different. It can affect how people feel about themselves. When they struggle with a task that other people find easy, they may feel frustrated, angry, or sad. Some dyslexic people try to hide their difficulties because they are worried about what others will think of them. However, thinking differently can be a really good thing. A person with dyslexia may be very good at seeing patterns and solving problems, imagining and rotating objects in their heads, telling stories and making people laugh. Taking things apart, understanding how they work, and figuring out how to put them together again. Inventing, drawing, painting, and making things. Seeing the bigger picture. Dyslexic people can do a lot of things. They just might do them in a different way to how others would, and many of them have even become famous for it. There have been many famous dyslexic inventors, writers, scientists, business people, astronomers, paleontologists, actors, cooks, singers, artists, architects, and so on. Dyslexic people have changed the world. See dyslexia differently. What a great video. You guys have a terrific Tuesday, and don't forget, tomorrow's picture day. So when you get home, lay out your clothes that you're going to wear, and come ready to smile. Guys, show some love, joy, peace, and kindness, or goodness, or patience today, and we'll see you tomorrow.